the government treats blackfellas in Australia much like you would like your um your finest set of silverware. Usually, lock it up. <laughs> but on very special occasions, especially if you've got international visitors, show it off! My parents didn't like the fact that I moved here, I have to tell you that. They did not like it at all. My dad especially hates Australia because he's a member of the National Rifles Association and he judges all countries based on their handgun laws. <laughs> like any time my dad will call me when something happens in Australian news that he sees where he thinks a gun would have solved the problem. He's straight on the phone. You know, Tommy, that would have happened over there if you had guns. Dad, it's a flood. <laughs> I don't know who to shoot. <laughs> There was a breakfast show host here in Melbourne. One day on radio, he said something racist. Then, because he said that, uh, the ABC sprang into action and fired him six months later. And <laughs> ABC had to prove that they're not racist. So they replaced Red Simons with me and a white woman, Jacinta, uh, thus answering the age old question what is the value of a white man? It's one brown man plus one white woman equals one white man. All right, enough race stuff, just for... All right, I have a cat and a dog. My cat's name is Spikey and my dog's name is Abdurrahman Abdelaziz. He's my dog, I decide what religion he is. He's not even my dog, I found him. He was running across the road, running straight into the middle of the intersection. Looked like he had a death wish. That's how I knew he was. <laughs> Abdurrahman Abdelaziz. You can tell from my outfit, I was made in China. Look, guys, I'm so sorry for what happened last year. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Trust me, I didn't do it. I was here the whole time, plus three lockdowns, okay? Lockdowns, three of them, one year. So tough, so depressing. Feels like my childhood all over again. 